Story time. A poor servant girl was traveling with the family with which she was in service through a great forest. And when they were in the midst of it, robbers came into the thicket and murdered all they found. All perished together except the girl who had jumped out of the carriage in a fright and hidden herself behind a tree. When the robbers had gone away with their booty, she came out and beheld the great disaster. When she began to weep bitterly and said, What can a poor girl like me do now? I do not know how to get out of the forest. No human being lives in it, so I must certainly starve. She walked about, looking for a road, but could not find any. When it was evening, she seated herself under a tree and gave herself into God's keeping and resolved to sit waiting there and not go away. Let happen what might. When she had sat there for a while, a white dove came flying to her with a little golden key in its beak. It put the little key in her hand and said, Do you see that great tree? Therein is a little lock. Open it with the tiny key and you will find food enough and suffer no more hunger. Then she went to the tree and opened it and found milk in a little dish and white bread to break into it so that she could eat her fill. When she was satisfied, she said, It is now the time when the hens at home go to roost. I'm so tired, I could go to bed too. Then the dove flew to her again and brought her another gold ring in its bill and said, Open that tree there and you will find a bed. So she opened it and found a beautiful white bed and she prayed God to protect her during the night and laid down and slept. In the morning, the white dove came for the third time and again brought a little key and said, Open that tree there and you will find clothes. And when she opened it, she found garments beset with gold and with jewels, more splendid than those of any king's daughter. So she lived there for some time. And the dove came every day and provided her with all she needed. And it was a quite good life. Then one day the dove came and said, Will you do something for my sake? With all my heart, said the girl. And then said the little dove, I will guide you to a small home. Enter it and inside it an old woman will be sitting by the fire and will say good day but on your life give her no answer let her do what she will but pass by her on the right side further on there is a door which opens you will enter into a room where a quantity of rings of all kinds are lying, amongst which are some magnificent ones with shining stones. Leave them, however, where they are, and seek out a plain one 
which must likewise be among them, and bring it here to me as quickly as you can. The girl went to the little house and came to the door. There sat an old woman who stared when she saw her and said, Good day, my child. The girl gave her no answer and opened the door. Whither away, cried the old woman, and seized her by the gown, and wanted to hold her fast, saying, This is my house. No one can go in here, if I choose not to allow it. But the girl was silent, got away from her, and went straight into the room. Now there lay on a table an enormous quantity of rings, which gleamed and glittered before her eyes. She turned them over and looked for a plain one, but could not find it. While she was seeking, she saw the old woman and how she was stealing away and wanting to go off with a birdcage, which she had in her hand. So she went off after her, and took the cage out of her hand. And when she raised it up, looked into it, a bird was inside, which had a plain ring in its bill. And then she took the ring and ran quite joyously home with it, and thought the little white dove would come and get the ring, but it did not. Then she leaned against the tree, determined to wait for the dove. As she thus stood, it seemed just as if the tree was soft, letting its branches down. And suddenly the branches twined around her and were two arms. And when she looked around, the tree was a handsome man who embraced and kissed her heartily and said, You delivered me from the power of the old woman, who is a wicked witch. She had changed me into a tree, and every day, for two hours, I was a white dove, and so long as she possessed the ring, I could not regain my human form. Then his servants and his horses, who had likewise been changed into trees, were freed from the enchanter also, and stood beside him. And he led them forth to his kingdom, for he was a king's son, and they married and lived happily ever after. The End